Do you think that when we stop taking these pills, we can get breakouts again? Does the laser actually try to like permanently destroy the plant? Well, do you think you would recommend this on sensitive skin types? Hey guys, welcome back to Wish Trend TV. It's your sister Eunice here and I'm so happy to see you guys. We are continuing on with our series. We did part 1 and 2 and now we're here with part 3. So today we're gonna go meet a professional to answer some of our questions. And I know that a lot of you guys are worried about the coronavirus that's going on right now but we were very careful and our doctor also wore a mask as well. So no worries. Thank you guys and let's go meet her now. Oh, Dr. Lee, can you please introduce yourself? Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Lee. Uh, I work here at Grace Clinic. Uh, I am the doctor in charge of the dermatology here in Grace Clinic. It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, thank you so much for your time, Dr. Oh, you're Lee. You're welcome. Sorry for the mask. No. Nope. Because of the coronavirus. coronavirus. For sure, for sure. <laughs> we have to be safe. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right, so we've prepared some acne-related questions, so let's start with round one. So I'm curious, so when, uh, what kind of condition do I need to have for us to visit the clinic or when should we come to the clinic? If we have only one or two pimples, is it okay to just, you know, take care of it at home or what do you think? Um, people can normally have one or two pimples. Uh, especially women, uh, because of their menstruation cycle, mm -hmm. they can get uh, one or two outbreaks before their menstruation. So one or two is okay, but when you get more than two, more than three, mm -hmm. and when the acne seem to have inflammation or pain, you should visit the clinic. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of curious about the details, you know, because I also have acne prone skin. So I think a lot of our wish changers will be very curious. So maybe the first one may be medication. Can you tell us why someone um, would have to take medication or that you would recommend medication? Well, if some patients don't comply well with the in hospital treatments, I prescribe them some oral medications. But the oral medications must, you must have a prescription to buy the medication and the, they have to be taken with care right. because you can get some side effects. Right. I remember I took those for about uh, six months or so because I also dealt with adult acne. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of whiteheads. Um, can you tell us some of the side effects? Because I remember there were some side effects. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us some side effects because of the medication and maybe how we can make it better or lessen the uh, like mm -hmm. bad side effects? Okay, so for the oral medication, there are two major medications. The first one is isotretinoid. Um, it's derived from vitamin A. It, uh, it uh, reduces the sebum production inside your skin. So your skin can get really dry. Your face, the skin on your face will get dry, but also the skin on your body can get really dry. Right. I, I remember like my eyes got really dry yes, too. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people also they say that they get really thirsty. Mm -hmm. So um, I recommend them to put a lot of moisturizer on, and also body moisturizer after right. you take your shower, and also drink a lot of water. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And the most important thing about taking isotretinoid mm -hmm. is that you have to stop the medication six months before you are planning to get pregnant mm -hmm. and for the married person mm -hmm. if you are planning on having a baby mm -hmm. um, I take I tell them to stop taking isotretinoid because even if you are under going under some contraception it might not work and right. you might fail so um, I tell them to stop the medication. I think this is so important yes. just to be safe, yes, right? Yes, it's very very important. Mm -hmm. For the and also for the for the male, mm -hmm. it's okay to take um isotretinoin if you're 그 남자의 경우에 그러니까 결혼한 부부에 있어서 남자가 아이소트레틴을 먹는 건 괜찮거든요. 음. 근데 그걸 많이 물어보세요. 왜냐면 혹시 내가 먹었는데 그게 영향을, 영향을 끼칠까 봐. 봐. 근데 사실 그거는 괜찮아요. 어, 그 대신 엄마가 먹으면 안 되고. 네, 엄마가 먹으면 안 되고. 그래서 이제 집에 그 약을 줬을 때 혹시 실수로 여자가 먹을 수도 있으니까 음. 잘 숨겨놓고 <웃음> 드셔야 될것 같아요. 되게 중요한. 네. <웃음> And one other question, I was curious to uh, ask you, can you become immune to these 
pills, like these medication, if you take them for a long time or. 처방한대를 안 먹으면 내성 생길 수 있어요. 예를 들어서 6일치를 처방했는데 뭐 2일치만 먹고 끊고 또, 또 며칠 있다 또 3일치 먹고 끊고 그렇게 하면 내성이 생길 수 있는데 그 알소트레티노인 같은 경우는 내성 항생제가 아니라서 내성이 생기거나 그렇진 않아요. 음. Yeah, so it's really important then, like you follow what you have been prescribed with, you know, from your doctor. Listen to your doctor. <laughs> And one other question is, do you think that when we stop taking these pills, we can get breakouts again? Um, after taking isotretinoin, it's possible to get acne again later because um, usually it takes about 16 to 20 weeks of treatment with isotretinoin wow. to treat acne. Mm -hmm. And most patients get, um, get really clean skin after 16 to 20 weeks. Mm -hmm. But some patients, they stop taking the medication before 16 weeks mm -hmm. and then you might get some more outbreaks of acne. Right. And especially younger patients, uh, they tend to get uh, outbreaks even after those 20 weeks. And in that case, we have to prescribe them some more after. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I know that if we are talking about acne treatments, laser also goes well together. You know, you always hear about laser treatments. Um, we have a question for you about laser treatments. What is the reason for getting laser treatments and what are the effects? For the laser treatments, uh, most of the lasers are focused on destroying the sebum glands mm -hmm. under your skin right. because um, overproduction of sebum causes acne. Right. So the laser treatment, they the, the, those lasers um, try to destroy the glands inside your pores. Right, and this is not permanently, right? But or does la does the laser actually try to like permanently destroy the uh, glands? The laser is supposed to permanently destroy wow. the glands, but the problem is that um, people have thousands of glands <laughs> on their face, so right. it's not possible to destroy all right. of them. Mm -hmm. So when we treat the patient, we try to destroy the, the, the glands that are activated mm -hmm. because not all the glands overproduce sebum. Some glands tend to produce more sebum than the others. Mm -hmm. So we try to destroy the ones that are overactivated. Right, right. Mm -hmm. For example, in our clinic, we have a laser called Derma Acne. Mm -hmm. It's a laser that is made specifically to treat acne mm -hmm. and the method is that we, uh, we destroy each gland individually with a needle Wow! and I recommend this treatment for the people who have had acne for a long time uh -huh. and they are tired of getting scalings or peelings mm -hmm. and they want something that's going to end their Acne. Right, right, right. In that case, uh, we try to do the derma acne. But, uh, but this laser has to be done several times mm -hmm. also, and it's a little bit painful. Mm -hmm. So. I bet because it's like permanently. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and your face can get really mm -hmm. uh, red and it can get swollen. Right, right. So, but if you do have severe acne, I think it's a great treatment for you to check out, you know? Yes, yes. So I'm curious, I have extremely sensitive skin and acne prone skin. Do you think you would recommend this on sensitive skin types? The laser treatments can also be done on sensitive skin mm -hmm. because we can control the power of the laser. So if a patient has um, a more sensitive skin than other people, I have to reduce the energy and um, maybe the the length of the treatment will be longer, right, right. but then you can go like lessen the irritation, yes. but you know, make sure that it's effective too. Yes, yes. Dr. Lee, thank you so much for your time. I had so much fun and I'm sure that our wish trenders learned so much today. So thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank See you. you next time. Bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs> <laughs> Round two, skincare after the treatment. So it's really true that your skin can become sensitive after the dermatological treatment. So it's very important for you to take care of it properly to maintain healthy skin. And you guys, 
after the treatment if you start drinking every single day and stuff like that it's not gonna help so not just your skincare routine but your lifestyle or habits after the treatment itself will matter as well so the doctor will put on a moisturizer for you after the treatment and SPF as well and I know when you get home you're gonna be like oh me I don't think I need to you know remove my you know like sunscreen and everything off because I already got calming treatment at the dermatologist but this is a big no-no if the doctor put on your skin moisturizer and up to your sunscreen it's very important that you remove the sunscreen or it can clog your pores and cause other breakouts and other skin concerns as well so what we want to recommend is that first of all you use a low pH cleanser this is gonna help to remove all the sunscreen and all the gunk off and we want to recommend that you use something that can gently exfoliate your skin at the same time and afterwards we're gonna move on to a toner make sure that you use something that has lightweight texture but that absorbs fast into your skin and that is also very very hydrating and then we're gonna move on to your moisturizer all right, with your moisturizer, you want to strengthen and rebuild your skin barrier once again. So what we want to recommend is to use something that has a really good balance between the oil content and moisture content and make sure that it's not too heavy for you. And we do want to recommend that you add a cream that can help to regenerate your skin for seven days after the um, acne extraction or removal or after the treatment itself. And ladies and gentlemen, SPF is a must after the acne extraction. And actually, Dr. Lee emphasized on this part as well that you have to wear sunscreen to prevent you know, pigmentation and hyperpigmentation as well. So make sure that you use something that is moisturizing but not too oily or heavy. And make sure that it's something that can be removed with your low pH cleanser. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in until the very end. Did you guys find week three helpful? I hope that you guys did. For week four that is coming up, we're going to be talking about treatments for acne scars. I know that you guys are very curious and we have such good information for you guys. So you have to come back, okay? All right, thank you guys for tuning in and we will see you in the next one.